Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 44. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with a nitrous control programming within our M-Tune software. Our nitrous control can be controlled in a variety of different manners, whether we have a basic on or off type of nitrous or progressive nitrous using a pulse width modulated type of solenoid. We can control both a dry and a wet shot of nitrous depending on what we want to work with in terms of our fuel delivery. We have a lot of programming details here to cover for nitrous control based on the application you're working with. Let's jump into this video so we can check everything out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with programming or nitrous control within our Max ECU. We'll find we have a variety of different types of nitrous systems we may be working with. A dry shot of nitrous, a wet shot of nitrous, single fogger versus direct pour. We might even find that we have basic on-off control or progressive pulse width modulated control. We're going to break down what the different types of nitrous mean in this training tutorial because we have to program and work with our Max specific to the type of nitrous control system that we have installed on our vehicle. The very first thing that we do need to do, regardless of whatever type of nitrous control we're working with, is set up an arming switch input to our MAX. The arming switch is going to allow the MAX to know when we want to spray nitrous or not spray nitrous. Now we need to meet conditions when we turn the nitrous arming switch on in order to actually spray the nitrous, but it's the first step in actually telling the MAX that we are working with a nitrous system and that we do want it to activate an output to control nitrous control solenoid to turn on the nitrous to spray into the engine. So the first thing I want to do here is jump into our navigation pane. What we're going to be noticing in this situation right now is that we don't have nitrous as a drop down in our menu, in our navigation menu. We actually have to go and activate our nitrous arming switch input in order for that to appear in our drop down menu. Let's do that right now. We're going to go down here under start and go into inputs. And now I've wired my nitrous switch into my digital input too. We need to make sure that you're using a toggle switch or some kind of a, a, an arming switch that'll be wired into a digital input you have available on your Max ECU. Now, in this case, I have four digital inputs on my race version of the Max ECU. You may have more, you may have less than me. Now, in this situation, I've used digital input two to wire in my momentary button I have installed in my vehicle to be able to go in and arm the nitrous to tell the Max that we want to spray nitrous. Now, um, there's some specific things Normally you would want to go in here and probably wire in a basic on off toggle switch. So if you turn the switch on, it stays latched on. If you turn the switch off, it turns it off. Um, I have a momentary button. It's a little bit different how we have to handle the programming routine in the Max, but it still can function just like a basic on off toggle switch. Um, the other thing I want to mention here is that my switch is going to be a uh, ground type of switch. It's going to be a low side input. Um, we'll find it's not going to be a high side input. High side is going to be sending 12 volt in. In this case, I'll be sending my uh, ground in, so I'm essentially grounding the pin here at my digital input two when I'm going in and turning my switch on. So let's go and take a look at how to set up these details. It's actually really simple. We're going to go up into function and under our drop down here, we'll type in N and then here it's going to be bringing our drop down menu down. We're going to grab nitrous enable switch in our drop down menu. There are some other choices, but none of these are relevant for an arming switch. So we'll grab nitrous enable switch. Now this is going to be, as soon as we click on that, it's going to be populating nitrous in our menu here that wasn't previously available. So we can see that's going to allow us to start the programming. So we had to add this, the arming switch in first in order to start to work with our nitrous programming. All right. Now the latching conditions here. The latch is going to be specific to what type of button you're, or switch you're working with. Now in the case of a basic on-off toggle switch, you'll use your option as none. When the switch is on, it's activated. It's going to be grounding the pin. When the switch is off, That'll be sending the ground uh, off the pin. We're not going to be grounding the pin and it will be turning off. It's basic. Now, in my situation, I don't have a basic on off toggle switch. I have a momentary button. So I need to go in latch on when I push the momentary button on once, that'll latch and turn it on. And then when I push the button again, it'll turn it off. This is kind of like an elevator button. If you're used to that kind of uh, functionality in logic programming that they have in elevators, if you push an elevator button on, it stays latched on. If you push the same button, it'll latch itself off. So if we go under latch, we have some options, push on, push off, push on, long push off. Um, I'm just going to be using my push on, push off. That means if I push the button once, it activates and arms, it latches, push the button again, it'll turn off the nitrous arming. Uh, if they select this option here, push on, long push off, we have to push the button longer to actually deactivate it to turn off our nitrous arming. So I'll just grab this first option to keep it simple. Now in the description here, I'm going to just relabel this nitrous, if I can spell here, nitrous arm. And then uh, we have to go and set our activation level. Now, this is going to be uh, particular to how you wire in your switch. 
In my situation with my momentary switch, um, I've wired it in as a low side input or ground input. Now you could also wire it in as a 12 volt input or high side input. In my situation, I've done it on as low side. It's just easier to grab a ground in the car, run it through my momentary switch, and then ground the pin here at my digital input too. So in this situation, my activation level will be low or falling edge for a ground or low side input. And then we have to have our pull up resistor here on, so 5 volt pull up enabled. If you send in a 12 volt when your switch is activated, you'll go and choose your rising as op rising edge option and then also choose no pull up resistor as your option. So it's going to be the difference between sending a, a low side or ground input to your pin or sending a 12 volt. That's how we have to go and configure these details. And we also have our input type here. We need to make sure we set it under digital and not VR. So pretty basic details. We got those out of the way. So let's go in here and take a look at one more thing before we take a look into our nitrous section. If we jump down into our real-time values, we can go down here under digital inputs and verify the status of our switch. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.